In this lecture, we're going to discuss the second application of the of uh, our Lee Shatler principle, uh, and we're going to study the second industrial process, which is the contact process, which is used to uh, manufacture sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is manufactured in the contact process. Manufacture of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. And uh, this is again a very important chemical. Uh, it's used in a lot of industries. Uh, notably, it's used in the manufacture of fert fertilizers. Fertilizers. It's uh, used in lead acid batteries, your car batteries, and your and the general batteries that you use. So it's uh, it's a component. It's the electrolyte that is used in lead acid batteries. Apart from this, it's it's probably uh, involved in a lot of uh, in a lot of uh, uh, preparations uh, of different products. It's part of it's it's always going to be a part of some uh, reaction or some process. So a lot of uh, we can we can uh, pick some examples. Uh, uh, it's used in the manufacture of uh, of uh, pigments and dyes as well as explosives. Overall, it's a very useful uh, reaction. Sulfuric acid is used in a lot of reactions. So we are now going to study the contact process. Now the contact process it's a, it's a, it's a slightly longer process than the Haber process. It's divided into into uh, three steps. You have step number one. Now in step one, we we have uh, we take sulfur and we roast it in air. So sulfur is roasted in air which contains oxygen. So it's basically going to react with oxygen. The other component of air which is nitrogen is uh, unreactive. So it's probably not going to react with nitrogen. So sulfur is roasted in air or we can say sulfur is roasted in oxygen. It is roasted in oxygen and the equation, the resulting equation is that sulfur reacts with O2 and ends up producing sulfur dioxide. And uh, sulfur is a, is a solid. Oxygen is gaseous and SO2 is also gaseous. So to roast sulfur, sometimes what they do is that uh, instead what they do is at molten sulfur sprays is well used so that if you have a larger surface area faster reaction is going to take place. Now there are many sources of sulfur one of the most uh, uh, common sources of sulfur is uh, the sulfur ore which uh, it's a mineral which contains uh, a large quantity of sulfur that's uh, pyrite So, pyrite is the mineral which is the source of uh, uh, of sulfur in most industrial processes. Uh, now, this is our first step. Our second step, step number two. Now, our second step is uh, the manufacture is the production of sulfur trioxide of sulfur trioxide now uh, the way sulfur trioxide is produced is that sulfur dioxide is again reacted with oxygen and it is it gets converted into sulfur trioxide and uh, to balance the equation I think this should be 2 and this should also be 2 and the forward reaction in this case it's a reversible reaction 
the forward reaction is exothermic so the enthalpy is negative so that's our uh, step two we react sulfur dioxide with oxygen and we get sulfur dioxide now this is not an easy reaction so firstly it's a reversible reaction plus there are plenty of conditions that need to be met before a, a, a reasonable amount of yield is obtained of sulfur trioxide and those conditions are that we have a temperature of around uh, the temperature is around 450 degrees centigrade then we have a pressure we use a certain amount of pressure the pressure in this case is not that high it's around uh, one to three atmospheres the reason we're not using a higher pressure is because we get a reasonable amount of field uh, at one to three atmosphere pressure so uh, not a very high temperature is used in this reaction thirdly and the last condition to be met in this reaction is that we use a catalyst uh, and that catalyst in this case is vanadium pentaoxide it's also called vanadium 5 oxide which uh, and the formula for that is V2O5 vanadium is a transition metal and we all know that transition metals uh, are very suitable catalysts so this here is our second step and we'll discuss the conditions and justify the conditions that are used in this uh, step later. Uh, firstly, we're going to move to our step number three, the third step in this reaction. And so step three. Uh, step three is the uh, is is basically the final step. Uh, in this case, sulfur trioxide is then converted, converted into sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. Now, let's see how that is done. Now, there are two ways of doing that. One is we can, uh, uh, the first way, one is that we can simply react sulfur trioxide with water. We can add water to it. And... Uh, this would produce H2 SO4. Now the problem with this step is that this reaction just one second let me click this. The problem with this step is that the above reaction is explosive. And this creates a problem when you, especially when you're doing a reaction industrially, because it's very hard to actually manage reactions which are very explosive. So another way that is used to get sulfuric acid is, so this reaction, we first state that this reaction would not be performed because it is, it is explosive. So this reaction is not done. Instead, an indirect method is used in which sulfur trioxide is first dissolved in concentrated H2SO4 and remember this is concentrated so whenever if you if you miss the term concentrated in your answer to any question uh, your answer might be marked incorrect so sulfur trioxide is dissolved in concentrated sulfuric acid and that results in a compound which is called oleum it's H2 S2 O7 so this is oleum and then what they do is that the oleum is then uh, diluted oleum is diluted to obtain H2SO4 to obtain sulfuric acid so this oleum is then diluted water is added into oleum and your equation then becomes your final reaction would then be that H2 S2O7 plus you have H2O and this results in two molecules of 
H2SO4 in the aqueous state. Now, one thing, one interesting thing about this is that you're using sulfuric acid to make sulfuric acid. But you're using one molecule of sulfuric acid is used in the process and, you, and in the end you obtain two molecules of H2SO4. So the net result is that you are producing sulfuric acid. So this is your sulfuric acid which is obtained by diluting volume.